Hi traders, in today's video I will show you one of the most popular indicators out there. In fact, it is the most popular indicator in TradingView's public library. It is called the Squeeze Momentum Indicator by Les Bear. Don't worry if it is the first time that you are hearing about it. Even if it's a popular indicator, it is hard to find tutorials about it. So in today's video, I will show you some profitable strategies to trade the Squeeze Momentum Indicator. We will start the tutorial in a second. Let's start. As usual, we will open TradingView.com. To add this indicator, you have to click on the Indicators and Strategies icon on the top. And we will go to the public library. The Squeeze Momentum Indicator should be on top, since it is the most popular indicator out there. If you cannot find it, you can type it on the search bar above. Feel free to add it to your favorite indicators. If you are using the dark team of TradingView like me, you will be not able to see the indicator fully. So I will make some style changes to make it more eye-friendly. To make the changes, you should click on the settings icon next to the indicator. First, I am going to increase the opacity of the bars, so they will be easier to track. And then, I am going to change the crosses you see on the chart to circles. And I will also change their colors, because right now, they are impossible to see with the dark theme. I will make color 1 dark blue and color 2 light blue. Perfect, I think it is way more eye-friendly right now. If you follow these changes, your indicator should look something like this. Don't worry if you missed anything. Here you can see every change we have made on the settings. Please feel free to take a screenshot. Ok, let's try to understand this indicator together. We have a bunch of variables on the indicator. We have bright green and light green bars, bright red and light red bars. Also we have dark blue circles and light blue ones. All of these variables have different meanings. I know it might look complicated now, but actually it is way more simple than it looks. Basically, the squeeze momentum indicator indicates two things, volatility and momentum. Let's start with the bars. The bars on the indicator represent the amount of momentum in the market. If the bars are green, it means there is an upwards momentum in the market. And if the bars are red, there is a negative momentum. In our strategy, we will try to trade in the same direction with the momentum. The second part of the indicator is the volatility itself, which is represented by the dots in the middle. These dots indicate the squeeze. You might be asking yourself what is a squeeze? Well, in order to understand how squeezes occur, you should understand how markets move first. As you know, markets are not always in a trend. Trends are usually followed by consolidation periods where the price doesn't change much. In other words, periods of high volatility are usually followed by periods of low volatility. This rule applies to all of the markets and all time frames. And low volatility means that there is a low amount of movements in the market. These periods are called squeezes because it looks like the price is squeezed in a range. There is no clear upwards or downwards trend when the price is in a range. When the price breaks above or below the range, a new trend is most likely to occur because momentum increases with the breakout. The main goal of the squeeze momentum indicator is to catch those breakouts before they happen. In our indicator, squeeze periods are represented by dots. If the dots are dark blue, it means that the price is in a squeeze. When the dots turn light blue, it means the squeeze relief has occurred. So I believe that this briefing will be enough for trading the squeeze momentum indicator. Now please let me start by explaining the regular ways to trade the squeeze indicator. And then I will show you how you can increase your win rate while trading it. According to Lazy Bear, there are two ways to trade the squeeze momentum indicator. The first option is to trade the divergences. Basically, it is the same as the RSI divergence. If the price makes a lower low, but the histogram makes a higher low, it indicates a bullish reversal might occur soon. And it gives a bearish signal if the price makes a higher high, but the histogram makes a lower high. But I am not going to dive deep into the details of the divergence strategy. Because according to my backtests, it is not as profitable as the RSI divergence. So I will not explain it in detail to save you time. But feel free to ask your questions in the comments. Also, you can check out my previous video to learn more about the RSI divergences. So let's move to the fun part. The second way to trade the squeeze momentum indicator is to try to catch the squeezes. In order to catch the breakouts, we will wait for a couple of dark blue dots in a row, because they indicate that we are in a squeeze. Then we will wait for dots to turn light blue, because it indicates that the volatility is increasing and the breakout might happen soon. When that happens, if the bars are green, we will open a long position. We are going to close our position as soon as the bars change their color. So on a long setup, we will open a position once the dots turn light blue. And we will close the position when we see a dark green bar for the first time. 
Same way, if the bars are red when we see the bright blue circle, we will open a short position. And we will close our position once the bars turn dark red. However, it is not so profitable to trade the squeeze momentum by itself. Because it gives lots of false signals if you use it alone by itself. So we will not open a trade every time that the circles change color. Let me give some tips to increase the win rate. First, to confirm that you are in a squeeze, you should look for at least 6 dark blue dots in a row. Otherwise, there will be too much noise on the chart and you will get many false signals. Second, since it's a lagging indicator, very volatile moves can make you have a delayed entry and the momentum will be long gone when you enter your position. So open your eyes for huge price changes and avoid opening a position if you see a really huge candle. Third, you can use moving averages to filter your entries, as we do with nearly all of our strategies. If the price is above the 200 EMA, only look to go long, and only take the short entries when the price is below the moving average. But keep in mind that it will also filter some good entries, so it is up to you to decide if you want to use it or not. In addition to that, you should never trade without a stop loss, and you should always know when to exit a trade. I will show you how to use the ATR indicator while setting a stop loss in a minute and our exit point will be the first bar with a different color. Last, but the most important thing to check is the price action. Before opening a position, you should check the support and resistance zones to confirm that you are in a squeeze, because the squeeze momentum indicator is meant to be used when the price is squeezed in a range. So be sure that the price is in a squeeze. Feel free to take a screenshot of the rules, so you can check them easily while trading. So, let's check some entries together. Here you can see a perfect long example on the chart. Let me explain why it is a perfect entry. You will understand after we check our rules. We will start with our last rule since it is the most important thing to check. Notice that there is a resistance level here which acted as a support previously. And there is also a support level here which price tries to break below and fails. As you see, the price respected this support level in the past. So we can confirm that the price is stuck in a range and we can use the squeeze momentum indicator to look for breakouts before they happen. So let's check rest of the rules. You can see that there are more than 6 dark blue circles in a row. So you know that the volatility is low now and we will wait for a light blue circle to open our position. Then we will check for huge price changes that occurred in the last candles. Since none of the candles are relatively huge to others, we are good to go. And then we will check the moving average to have an idea about the trend. So I will add the 200 EMA to our chart. Perfect. Notice that the 200 period EMA is really close to our support level. This is exactly why checking the long term moving average is important. Because moving averages can act as support and resistance. We can confirm that the support level is even more stronger now. So we are good to open a position. We will open our entry as soon as we see a bright blue circle, which happens right here. Since the bars on the indicator are green, we will open a long position. Because it indicates that a bullish breakout might happen soon. So we will enter our position at the opening of the next candle. As soon as we open a position, we should set a stop loss. I will add the ATR indicator to decide the stop loss level. We will use two times the ATR as our stop loss point. Since the ATR is 227 at the scandal, we will stick with 454. The last thing to decide here is where we will close our position. We want to keep the position open as long as the momentum is on our side. So we will not close our position as long as the bars on the indicator keep their color. We will exit when we see the first dark green bar. As you see, we close our position with a nice profit. Hope you understood how to implement our rules while trading. Even if I want to keep this video short, I really want to show you a short setup too. So please let me share one more example before finishing the video. Here you can see a perfect short entry. Let's check our rules to understand why it's a good setup. Notice that we are in a squeeze because there are clear support and resistance levels that the price respects. We should check the moving average to get an idea about the long term trend. As you see, we are close to the 200 EMA line. But since we are below it, the resistance is strong because there is a huge selling pressure near the EMA. So we will look to go short. Before opening a position, we should check that there are more than 6 dark blue circles in a row. Since there are more than that, we should wait for a bright blue one. And since none of the candles are relatively huge, there is no fake volatility. So we will go short at the first light blue circle. Also, as soon as we enter the trade, we will set our stop loss at 2 times higher than the ATR. We will keep the position open until the momentum starts to fade away, which happens here after the bars on the indicator change their color. As you see, this was also a profitable trade. I hope this example sums up the deal for you. If used correctly, the squeeze momentum indicator can be profitable just like the other indicators out there. But please remember that trading is a probability game. So be sure to backtest strategies before using them. Please don't trust any strategy you see online without backtesting it yourself.
And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot them up in the comment section. I try to answer all of the comments when I have time. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking it to show us support. And if you are interested in more trading strategy videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Have an amazing and profitable day.